Um, good day everyone. Uh, we will check if there's a real never-ending battle here uh, between creator versus the destroyer. I think it's important to uh, say this, that this little secret that they are not enemies. I mean, creators are there do, making things, building creatures, and getting things done. While there's this uh, destroyer over there, uh, sneaking, uh, picking their nose, sneaking uh, on your work, and yeah, trying to break your code. But are they really breaking your code? We will answer that later. So I'll introduce myself. I'm Mary Grace Maliari, Application Specialist here in Home Credit and one of the evangelists at Women Code Manila, an international nonprofit organization. Yes, I'm one of the destroyer with over four years of experience dealing with this creator with different behaviors and doing manual testing and just recently shifted to automated testing. So, I'm, it's pretty obvious who is this creator and destroyer? Anyone? So creators are developers and destroyers are? Yeah, right. Uh, why they, they see, it seems like they're fighting? Simply because they have different mindsets. Uh, developers, uh, although they need to understand each other, uh, to make uh, so that they can work together. This is a progress that will reach them to their common purpose. So developers uh, think about how they can create an application while testers think about how they can break it. By saying breaking it doesn't mean that uh, they will spoil the work done by the developer. It means that they will take the user role and test its strength, resistance, power, and defect. And since I'm one of the destro destroyers, I, uh, we just wanted to let you know and uh, on how to deal with us. Uh, not just walking away. So first is know what you are being tested on. Uh, try to talk with the tester before you write any code, if possible, and agree together on what is going to be tested. Second, test your own stuff first. Don't expect tester to find your bugs. Let them validate that your code works. Next, tester is a last defense before your code goes out and reach your customers. Tester is not a babysitter who will uh, check your code so that, so that you don't have to. Uh, in fact, we have this called unit testing and such. And also, good testers often they they call what they do verification and not testing. And as I always mentioned on my previous talks, testing is a full team's responsibility for quality. Third is avoid the bug fix bug fix cycle. Uh, work directly with the tester to fix any bugs as they find them, rather than letting them file a bug report and undergo the whole process. So, uh, lastly, help with automation. This is one area where you can be a huge benefit with the tester. It is a great opportunity to bring testers and developers closer, and which greatly reduce conflict and the me versus them attitude. So, to answer the question, is the fight between the creator versus the destroyer a real never-ending battle? I heard yes. Still yes. So you're not, you're still not convinced. <laughs> uh, so, for me, it's no, because developers and testers are not enemies. They are in the same team. They work on a specific, uh, on the same purpose. Uh, with the same end goal, which is to produce a high quality working product. So, uh, the real never ending battle here is to produce this high quality working product. Thank you so much for listening.